the refractive index, otherwise known as the index of refraction, of a particular material, describes how fast light travels through that specific material in accordance with its density. This can be calculated by dividing the speed of light in a vacuum, by the phase velocity of light through that particular medium. Whilst the change of velocity may not be noticeable when the incident light source is entering the material perpendicular, it does, however, become distinctly noticeable when it enters at an angle, alpha, as shown. This example illustrates a beam of light traveling from air, which has a refractive index of 1, entering water with a higher refractive index of 1.333, than refracting at an angle beta. Clearly, the denser the material the slower the phase velocity, therefore, the higher the refractive index and the smaller the angle of refraction to the normal. This is defined by Snell's law, which I will expand on in another video. So, apart from providing information about the velocity of the light and the degree of refraction, why is this information so useful in many scientific applications including microscopy? Let's look at a simple schematic of the objectives and condensers of an optical microscope, with a sample slide on the stage. Typically the condenser is an optical lens, used to condense the divergent light source into a parallel or converging beam to illuminate an object on the stage. Theoretically, rays from the incident beam passing directly through the infinite center will have limited to no divergence or convergence. However, towards the outer diameter, the beam is condensed and then undergoes refraction when passing through the top of the condenser lenses and again through the specimen glass slide to illuminate the sample. This becomes much more pronounced towards the perimeter of the beam to the detriment of light being lost at the sample stage before entering the objective lens and a subsequent loss of resolution. Basically, when using lower magnification objective lenses below 40, this loss of light through light refraction is not really noticeable. However, when using an objective lens around 100 times magnification, the loss becomes significant due to the narrower diameter of these high magnification lenses. By placing a few drops of immersion oil, with a refractive index equal to that of the glass specimen slide in this airspace, more light will be directed through the objective, thus producing a clearer image. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to leave any comments.